Farm, brothers and sisters. Hey, just wanted to uh, take a little moment here to uh, tell you about something that's coming up. I, I don't know if you've heard about it in the news or not, but um, um, it's definitely a um, difficulty uh, that could be coming our way very soon. Um, <clears throat> the um, railroad is potentially going to strike on Friday. Uh, apparently, um, some of the major players in the in the railroad game have um, already begun slowdowns. Um, and, um, you know, if they shut down, <clears throat> if they go on strike and shut down, it's going to be worse than the ports clogging up. Um, you know, most of our freight is initially carried by train and then um, transported from uh, uh, different stations to trucks, which then come into our distribution centers, which then go out to our stores. <clears throat> so if we don't have that, that initial train transport, I mean, we could be in a world of hurt. Um, I don't think it's going to be a um, long-lived strike, uh, given how important it is. But this is, um, apparently they've been in negotiations now for about three years. So apparently neither side is willing to um, uh, give too much. <clears throat> so um, we'll see how it goes. If uh, uh, if they do strike, I think there's going to be you know a lot of empty shelves. So um, hopefully you've been putting away your 5 can goods every time you go to the store. Uh, you might, you know, <clears throat> sock away a couple extra gallons of water, you know, because this is going to affect everything. This is going to affect uh, transport, uh, transportation of coal to the fire to the power plants. This is going to affect, you know, transportation of chlorine to your water treatment plants, um, food to your shelves at your grocery store, um, everything. This affects absolutely everything. Transportation of fuel, everything comes by rail at some point or another. Um, so this could be bad. Um, I'm hoping this is just a short-lived thing and they come to an agreement quickly and, and just get it done and over with. But, um, you know, who knows? So, um, I'm not telling you to run out and, you know, do the, oh my gosh, the storm's coming. I got to run out and, and buy bread, milk, and eggs because we're going to make uh, French toast, uh, for the next three days. But, you know, it is a, um, I'd be aware of its situation. Fill the car up with gas. Grab a few extra canned goods. You know, grab a few extra gallons of water. You know, I, I can't imagine this thing will go on too long if it even starts up. You know, hopefully, they'll come to an agreement before the strike even starts. But who knows? You know. Um, so I uh, just want you guys to be aware of it, and uh, you know, I just love you guys to pieces, and uh, I want you to be safe. I want you to feed your babies, and uh, I want everything to be good. So, uh, you know, no doom and gloom here, no, no, <clears throat> no, um, you know, trying to scare people, but I'm just trying to give you the heads up. Um, so, from deep within the Flatland Fanatic Cave, uh, love you guys, love on them hard, babies.